Hello everybody, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 445 of Boshi Monsters Biography. And guess what? This is the final episode, the, the, the final video for today, because it has to be done early, and it has to be done immediately, because I got I got some other stuff to get done. I, I got a date with the movies, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta go out to the movies. So I better, so I better, so I better get this video done pronto. So yeah, thank you for coming. Welcome to uh, Boshi Monsters Biography. And today, we're going to close out another Moshing set. This one being the Legends set. That's why only three Moshings in that set. And and this is the final Moshing in the set we're going to be taking a look at today. That's right. It'll end now. We started the set with King Brian, the Dandelion, on episode 211. Then we took a look at Mrs. Noodle, the Silly Snuffler, on episode 271. Now it's time to meet the final Moshing in the set. And... What you're about to see is going to be so legendary, you cannot believe your eyes. So are you ready? Then let's go. Welcome to episode 445. Today, it is about Troy, the Macho Minotaur. The final moshing in the Legends set. Get ready, because it's about to be legendary, and I promise you, it's going to be a blast. So get ready for, for what you're about to see today. And for those who have seen episode 444, we took a look at Trixie, the color changing fish, who is from the underground tunnels. So go watch right now. The link will be on the top recorder screen. Go watch the video. See how, how well you deserve it to be. For now, though, everybody must come to a start. Are you ready? Now let's get started. So who is Troy? Troy, the Macho Minotaur, is an upcoming Moshi and Moshi Monsters. They are a Minotaur-based species who once guarded the Puzzle Palace's Mox Horde. Mm. Now you know. As everybody needs to know, they got stats here. Name is Troy. Says Legends Moshi number 193. Got it? 193. Good. Species Macho Minotaur. Rarity is rare. Release. To be dated. TBD, my friends. TBD. Figures in Series 11. So that's all. Macho combination. As always, comments unknown. It's a top secret. So yeah, that's very much it. Now onto the biography. Butch, beyond belief, these bull-headed monsterlings were once employed by ancient monsters to stand guard over the huge rock horde stored in the maze beneath the Puzzle Palace. These days, most macho minotaurs make a living selling their fast-growing hair to wig makers or performing in moshi pantos. Yeah, I believe so too. In the habitat, look at the head. Look at the hedge mazes behind the puzzle palace, or head to the mythical island of Moshipotamia. Yes, Moshipotamia, which I, which I don't know about. Uh, bottom right corner screen. This area, uh, say that this area is unexplored. Eight question marks. No, it's unexplored. So yeah, sorry for the sorry for the unexploration, people. Personality obstinate, tough, protected, ma likes mazes and classical theater, just likes her clippers and anything pink. Ooh, no, I don't like that. In fiction. The Twilight Sleep Story, Troy's and the Troy and the Base of Thieves, is based on Theseus and the Minotaur in the Labyrinth. In the Labyrinth. The story of the Minotaur, but with major changes. Only the strain to get out of the maze and the Labyrinth itself are elements used. A band of thieves, led by Weenie, are set to steal Troy's uh, treasure, which he is protecting in the maze. Their plan is to funnel Troy to the treasure and find their way back using a strain they attach to the outside. This string was chewed off by a goat and rendered use, uh, useless, useless. Troy is not hostile towards the thieves, but does let them panic in the labyrinth for 40 days straight until deciding they had learned their lesson. <sighs> and Weenie is a machine for the naughty set. I'll talk about him in a future episode, so stay tuned for that video when it comes out. Move on to the design. Troy is based off of the Minotaur, a great mythological half-man, half-bull creature who resided in, the la in a labyrinth. This inspiration comes from comes forth in design, species, name, and in the loose general of sense of being connected to a large maze-like construction. Mm, I know. Notes and citations say originally the Minotaur, the son of a bull and a human woman, was put in a labyrinth to live there. The Minotaur was cannibalistic, eats humans while it is half human, and was sent and, and, and was sent young people to eat. These elements are often removed in the modern depiction of the Minotaur. Mm, I know. Fine for the gallery. There he is. Troy, as seen in the Boshi sleep story. Troy, and the maze of thieves. And that was the sleep story that I reacted to on episode uh, 81 of Boshi sleep story reactions. That's where we're still on Tom Cork Hill. So please go watch right now. I'll put a link up there on the top right corner screen. Go check out the video. See how it unfolds. And, and, and watch the story un unfold. See how it deserves to be. So go watch right now. In the meantime, though, that's the end of Troy. Find out for his character. Man, I love Troy. Didn't say about that, but yeah, he he eats good mushrooms. Just like to say about that, nothing is worth about here. But in the end, you get the point. I'll get one set. I'm right, Troy, with a score of seven out of ten. Very good character. Anyways, either way, I promise you, it is a blast. Nothing is worth about here, but you get the point. So yeah.
Good job, Troy. You deserve it. But yeah, that's a little bit of personal conservative opinion. Feel free to repeat or disagree with any thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. With that, guys, we are done and it's all over. Thank you all for watching another episode of Moshi Monsters by Angfi. Another Moshi set is complete. Yay! Woo! And we'll see you tomorrow for another second episode of the series. And I can't even ready for more free stuff in the outside world. So, so don't be so my friends. Thank you all for watching today. You have a great rest of your day. I'm the Ghost Sitches. You're myself. I will see you tomorrow on Moshi Monsters by Angfi. Today we close out one motion set, tomorrow we're going to close out another, that being this spooky set. Episode 446 is about trouble. The hackity sackity is super mosh link to come out of the spooky set, so don't miss it. <laughs> yes, don't miss out, my friends. Uh, we started the set with Big Bad Bill, the Wooly Blue Hoodoo on episode 26. Then we took a look at Ecto, the Fancy Banshee on episode 111. Which I, which I don't know about. And then we took a look at Kissy, the baby ghost. Which I which is, I hate to say this, but it's definitely worth it's definitely worse. That I already talked about on episode 213. And then we took a look at the most recent Mosh Link. And I said the final Mosh Link. And I said Squidge, the furry Hebe. Who was on... Uh, where, where, where was Squidge? Squidge was on uh, episode... Uh, where was Squidge? Oh, yeah. On episode 396, so please go check them out right now, and then come back to and then come back to take a look at Trouble. Before you forget about that, uh, Trouble was already in his own sleep story that I reacted to uh, on Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. That story was Trouble's uh, uh, Trouble's Scrunchy Crunchy Twilight Walk, told by Philip Alexander, that I already reacted to on episode 106 of Moshi Sleep Story Reactions, so please go watch first, then come right back as we take a look at Trouble in general. And if you haven't seen, uh, and if you haven't seen Trouble yet, then... Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen our, if you haven't heard about Moshi Sleep Story Reactions, then let me remind you, if the, if the next sleep story is a, if the next premiere is a sleep story, I will react to that tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be pushed back to the next week, so keep it in mind. For now, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for episode 4 to 46. I have to look at Triple, the Hackney Second to close out the spooky set, where it's a super moss thing. Until then, I'll be going to Please remember to leave a like. Share the video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to this new video, please. Subscribe and notifications to turn on to this video, as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching. Peace out, Cub Scout. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow with more great content. I'll be guys that's just for Moshi Monsters Brian B. Until tomorrow, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!